Hi, hello, how are things? This is gonna be the final part of my Moonwood Castle build. I'm actually done with all the lots I have planned for my medieval Moonwood project. This is the finishing of the castle, and then I also finished my medieval village, which I was really dragging my feet about it, but it didn't take that long, and um, I like how it looks a lot, a lot. So I'm excited to edit that. The only thing left I wanna do, I want to continue building the underground world which I'm almost I've already like kind of started on it I finished the dungeon I did a nectar cellar I did an armory in a war room and under the rebel camp I also created a underground cave little place for treasure I still want to do a werewolf hangout I want to redo that a frog room and a vampire hive I think that's it and maybe an underground vampire bar no not a vampire bar but a vampire Nope, not a vampire. A werewolf. A werewolf bar. And then that's it. Oh, in the trash. I did read up on how to delete each piece of trash. Go into Sims 4 Studio and then delete the footprint of each piece, but that's gonna take a while. But I am gonna do that too. But still, I feel like I've made a lot of progress. Okay? I feel like I've made a lot of progress. I'll have all those build videos out soon, especially since this is going to be my last CC list. I just don't have the guy given patience to keep making CC lists, and I thought at first it would bring traction to my channel. I don't know if it does or if it doesn't. Um, there's like these little algorithm charts that I can check. I um, There's like 14 of them. I can't read them. I just don't know what they mean, so. There's plenty of other people doing CC lists, and I'm sure there's like historical CC lists. And a lot of the stuff I, I just have, I'm not a majority historical player, so I just have the stuff that I like and that I use for, especially for this neighborhood in particular. If it's anything notable or anything specific, I'll link that. Other than that, I think I'm gonna not do that anymore. And if, if you ever, if somebody ever has a comment on anything and they're really looking for something, I'm sure I could go through my tray file and find it for you, but. Beyond that, it just takes um, more time, and I'd rather put that time towards gameplay and finishing this Let's Play. Even though this Let's Play it has gotten out of hand, and that's really my fault. It's just become a medieval fantasy, which is kind of funny because I'm also really into House of Dragons right now. I just bought all the Lord of the Rings books so I can read them and then watch the movies and then watch this show and I think Disney has a series coming out as well. It is definitely just take, take, by happenstance has taken over my life but I'm, I'm liking it and I like that I can share what I'm really into now on my channel. And um, oh, and I should have said this at the top, the reason I'm doing a face cam video for this is because at the end of this video I forgot to do a walkthrough. Like when I first built it I forgot to do a walkthrough right after so now that I have played this household, especially since I've been stocking their nectar cellar, and I just thought it'd be a good idea to have them all nectar and acquire land and money that way, and then Christopher just declares himself king. So he's the first king there ever was. He just has so much money and so much power, he's just like, he just declared it. That's kind of the storyline I have for it, so I've been playing that. Certain things are going to be like a little different, um, and I'll explain myself at the end of this video where I'll pop back in and do the walkthrough. Uh, yeah, see you then.
here's the castle. Um, oh, it's raining outside too, which I think makes it look really cool. I'm really glad I changed the color of the, with the red on the bottom and the white. First I wanted to make it a black castle because the king is evil, but that's a little too on the nose because he's not outwardly evil, at least in my head. Like secretly sneaky evil, so I'm really happy I changed this color. Um, especially against like the green of the forest, I think it looks really really good. And it also matches really well with the rest of the uh, neighborhood and the rest of the build. And I love the weather in this world too. Um, I, like, I like when it rains, I like when it snows. We have our little moat out here. Oh and I'm so glad I add these rocks here outside around the perimeter. I usually don't play around with landscaping that much. It wasn't that hard. It wasn't that hard. It was manageable. And we're gonna go up the stairs. But also, oh, I also like when it snows here too. It's so pretty. I still need to remove all the trash, but it's so pretty. I have my little Pied Piper sign down there where they can go shopping and go into the village. I'm thinking of making it a little further so it looks like they have to literally like walk a little farther. Um, but I still, I'm gonna do that actually next time I load this lot. Alright, we're going up the stairs to the, like this little foyer opening or I don't know what you would call it but I really like the way that statue, the tan stone of that statue and how it matches the door and then the gold details on the door. I really like how that turned out. Got some people, um, got some people playing chess, having a party. And yeah, you're gonna see a lot of these paintings and stuff. I really want more paintings, um, but I'm just gonna have them add them over time as I play the lot. We have a little medieval DJ booth over here in the corner. I love all the candles too. This table, I've moved around this table so much. I put it like in the middle, I put it to the side. I've changed the chair, I changed the table. There's something wrong with it where, it, I don't know if it's in this room or maybe it has something to do with the windows. I don't know what it is, but. Sims will sit and eat there, but they won't talk to each other. As soon as I have them like try to talk to each other, bounce out of the chairs and glitch. Um, so I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's just like a bigger problem. My game is low key kind of broken right now. I've been trying everything. I've taken out and put in so much CC and repaired stuff and deleted the cache files and I don't know what else to do. I know they're still updating the game and still fixing it. Um, Oh, here we are in the little, I don't know if you call it a nursery? I know in Clue, I think it was a conservatory when you play the game Clue. Um, but it's just like a, a room with plants in it. Here's Mohan um, going through it, I think. And then we have Cheryl, the plant sim. She's pretty much, uh, I really want her to be the lady in waiting to the queen. We just haven't uh, married the queen that I've made yet. Uh, King Chris hasn't. Oh, this bathroom. I love this bathroom. Like, I would literally have a bathroom like this. Especially like the green and the tan. Right, and here we are. This fireplace is really pretty. I think because I sized it up, it doesn't work. They never light it and I, I can't have them light it. Uh, but it is really, really pretty. And then this is the spell book mod. Oh, and this is our cat walking through. She's kind of lazy. She doesn't really do anything. Oh, and here we have the chapel. I was reading up on what like what rooms would a castle even have, and one of them would be a chapel. So I created this room. These benches don't work because they're really decor, but I definitely want to add a seating option to them. Oh, and that is a spellbook mod where Sims can practice magic. Um, I'm so sorry, I did not clean up this house before I had company over. I It's kind of dirty. And then, oh, you can see inside the bee box. More plants, especially since they're like growing nectar. Even though I am going to have them get more land, because I feel like a king should own more land. Which is kind of like, I don't know, I feel kind of wishy-washy about it because I'm really almost done with this project. We are upstairs, we got like a little painting station, the little music box, and it spins when it plays, which is really cute. I did have a telescope up here, uh, I did have a telescope on this level as well, but um, King Christopher is 
on a journey right now because he's gonna go propose to the elf queen I made so they're at the house he also took his advisor and uh, the knight and then I had them pack certain things in their inventory so I had them take the telescope mostly just like for me because it's just a little cute thing to do like they're packing up to travel and out this is the lower level and I hadn't finished building it at this point but um, under here is actually a pool and like a little oasis that they can more like indoor gardening where they can sit because I was kind of a little sad that they don't have a lot of ground that they can just be outside like they have this little area and I ended up making it kind of like a tree orchard again for the nectar they need to make but I'm also really happy it's not like some huge 64 by 64 lot because I also want things to be you know playable and simmable so, because I actually play the things I build, I don't really just build them just to build them. So, I don't think anybody likes playing a bunch, a huge lot. At least I know I don't. I know I don't for sure. I'm gonna have a little nectar making station outside. Um, when I got the mod, it said you needed to put it outside, and you can put it inside if you want to. To me, it works about the same if you use the move objects on. I love this door with its little bronze handle. Alright, we're gonna go up back upstairs. Here we are, back on the top level. Oh, you can see everything from over here. You can even see my little medieval village coming soon. This obviously is not the safest place for any of your sim toddlers, um, or any, any of your clumsy sims as well. Pretty, I love these little um, paintings that I found. And those three candles look really good too. Again, I did not I did not clean up the slot. I but I had already started, so um, we're trying to get this done in one take. All right. This is Lady Lily's room. I love this fireplace with all the candles. These, that's one of the thing, great things about Sims is that you can put a bunch of candles everywhere. Very House of Dragons too, because that show has an insane amount of candles everywhere. Like, who is taking care of these candles? Who lights them every day? That's crazy. You know, who's managing that? That's the great thing about video games. You can have something like this and not worry about your house burning down. Um, oh, here we are in the king's quarters. Um, our chambers, would it be chambers? They still have a chair here in front of this uh, vanity. I don't know where it went. And then the little jars and stuff are around the Sims 4's homemade cosmetics that I think look really cool there. Oh, the only routing issue I still have is the fact that he has a computer in his room. This little scroll parchment here is actually a computer. And I like him to have that because he practices writing and I want him to write books and stuff. But it is annoying. Oh, here we have like a little bar set and candles and a meditation stool. I really like that dresser too, going through here. But yeah, even with his door lock, Sims will still just bust in there and use the computer. Like y'all have a problem. I say as I sit in front of a computer that I spend a lot of time on. We got the bar. Oh, I really like how these plates look. This is usually where I have him have breakfast, too. I'll have somebody bring him breakfast. Oh, and that bed, the only thing about that bed, though, is that it doesn't cover him in blankets. That does bother me, like, slightly. They, like, kind of sleep inside the bed. But it's okay. It's okay. It does look really cool. Alright, we got the mirror and the bathtub, another beautiful stone bathtub. This uh, wood dresser, I think, is from the Tiny Travelers pack. The shower. Um, again, please excuse the laundry. Some of those plates are from the Pie Piper pottery set. I eventually want to fill up the entire cabinet there. This is Prince Jacob's room. I think the colors look very much like a teen boy's room, but medieval style and like a prince, basically. I've been trying to have him train. I've been really working a lot on Jacob because Jacob is supposed to be like, I don't want to say perfect, but he's supposed to be pushed to per be a perfectionist by his father, pretty much. He needs to do better in school, 
Um, he needs to pick up his empathy. I've been having him, oh, here's a little knight's room. Cause I added a knight to the household. And I wanna add one more knight to the household as well. Some paintings that I added. I wanna cover this whole room in painting. So I've been trying to have Jacob work on all his skills. It, it's been harder. I don't know if they made teenagers harder with this with the update. I do not have high school years. It's been hard to get him to just do right. These spirals just these spiral stairs must be my most UCC are like my most clutch build CCs. I love those spiral stairs. Going downstairs. Oh, I put in a fireplace downstairs and put um, a column, it's not a column, but it's like a chimney behind it. I really like the way it looks, so once I realized it was actually pushing out smoke through the stairs, I just, I still didn't want to delete it and it doesn't bother me that much. You know, fantasy, magical, they got smoke coming out of their stairs, I don't know. It, it's just, it's a thing. Going into the library, map, um, and that stand by it is like a little is the from the royalty mod so I can make everybody like kings. Our cat again, our cat is super lazy too. Alright, we have like mouse in the castle and she literally doesn't care. She doesn't even look at the hole or anything. She does not care at all. Everybody in line, yeah, oh there goes Prince Jacob sitting um, inside a person. I like how the stuff on the shelves look. Stop yelling at each other. That's why I can't get his empathy up. I'm trying to make him a good person. And you guys are just mean to him. Gosh. Okay. And then, oh gosh, more. I love this world. Oh, you can see my little plasma trees down there too. I have the, the telescope up here. I need to have like a third telescope somewhere as well. Going down here, down to the servants area. Oh, another pretty door. I have a lot of pretty doors. Not to brag. Okay, we have a tub and a toddler tub. I do want to have some kids in this house. Uh, once King Chris marries the elf queen, I want them to have a kid, and then I want Mohan and Demi. They're the two servants. Mohan is the cook, and then Demi. She takes charge of like the gardening and the nectar. I want them to have a baby at the same time. Oh, I remember I had to move around that shower as well. Going back out from here. This is their little like living room area. Um, oh, I wonder if I should get them a crappier bookcase. I might change that bookcase, even though it is really pretty. But I have one upstairs too. Um, they don't spend a lot of time in here, honestly. They really don't have time to lounge and hang out. Usually every morning I have Mohan and Demi wake up at like 4 in the morning and and all the servants can go into the kitchen and they talk and stuff, which I like doing that. But in the, once they get the day started, they really don't have time to just hang out there. The only person who really hangs out there is Rowan. Um, but he usually is in there painting and making sculptures for the castle. And here is Mohan and Demi hanging out in here. A little candle cage, which I, that's a base game item. I don't know what you're really supposed to, I don't know why somebody would just put three candles in a bird cage, but it worked in this build. You can kind of see the little chimney thing I put behind there that I didn't want to move. A little dresser, a coffin, even though now that I built the dungeon, I'm gonna put the coffin in this little room I built off the dungeon because the advisor, I'm gonna have him be kind of in charge of torture. Go in here. Oh yeah, this is Demi in Mohan's room, the cook and the gardener, pretty much. They're married and I definitely want them to have like a kid soon. I really like this, um, I think that's called the peasant bed set. I love the texture on there too, I think it adds a lot. Going around. And then save the best for last because the kitchen area is my 
favorite, favorite room. Um, I was looking, I have like certain reference pictures that I think I can put up on the screen. And I just really like the way it turned out. That's usually where I have them sit and have coffee in the morning. And Mohan will like usually go ahead and start making breakfast for the castle. And then in here we have the espresso machine. Um, and I'll have Demi like make some lattes for the king and the prince, even though I don't know if that's, again, it's more of like a game thing. Uh, this is our nectar cellar. I have it pretty stocked. Um, you can't see it through here, but at the top is like some certain cabinets um, with nectar on top. And once I fill up the space on all the nectar cabinets, then I will consider this pretty much done. And in my medieval village, I created a wine merchant where they can come here, we'll give her the wine and then she'll sell it for us. And that will be so far how we'll uh, make the profit. Which is kind of funny because I was watching Game of Thrones, uh, House of Dragons, and they have the Lannisters, and apparently the Lannisters acquired their power from selling wine. Uh, so I thought that was really interesting. That it's like maybe a thing? I know, I probably shouldn't base my historical facts on House of Dragons. Um, how, how do people acquire power if not land and, land and money? And then um, this platform up here to this counter. They never use this counter. I don't know if they can, but it does look nice. And there's a sink and a trash can over there as well that they do use. And some storage options in that bag of potatoes. Oh, I noticed here that usually I don't play with all the walls up. So this is when I first noticed that the rocks were in this wall, but I really like how it looks, so I didn't touch it. And then here we are, our little pantry area. We got some sausages and some jars. And oh, these are around the Sims 4. They have these little herb, these little herb planters. So you can just send your Sim there and they'll like pluck out some basil or some parsley. This I did end up changing with the barrels. I moved them forward a little bit, but I do like how the rocks look inside the walls like that. Yeah, that's everything. Uh, thank you so much for watching. You can like if you want, comment if you want, and subscribe if you're about that life. Um, peace.